didn't take long to realize that Kerry and Connor were both similar in their personalities, but also strikingly different in all the right ways. And that's how I knew they would go the distance. And Kerry, I instantly liked you more than Connor. She has an explosive and infectious personality that makes her the life of any party. And in comparison, makes Connor's resemble that of a wet mop. <laughs> <laughs> Anything nice to say in there? I don't think so. <laughs> Our first date was a night to remember. We walked on the boardwalk, talked, and laughed for hours. But honestly, I want to talk about our second date. That's where I knew my life was about to change and what I was getting into. To make a long story short, we went out to a nice dinner. The waitress comes over and asks what we would like to drink. Before I could even be a little bit romantic and try to get a bottle of wine, Carrie says, I'll take a Guinness. Right then and there, I knew I was dating a lovely Irish girl. <laughs> so let me start by telling you about Connor. I've known him since middle school, and back then I thought he was one of the funniest guys I've ever met in my life. He was genuine. He also has an unwavering loyalty for the people that he loves. It makes all the sense in the world that you fell in love with this beautiful woman, who's a mirror of all your best qualities. Kerry is one of the most authentic people I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. She is 100% herself all the time. She wears her heart on her sleeve, and you better believe whether you like it or not, Kerry will let you know how she feels. Your relationship has this gravity that draws everybody in and makes us all want to take part in it. This is the, exactly the type of love that we're all searching for. We can all clearly see this is what true love looks and feels like. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you look ridiculous. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Fuck you. Oh my god, you look so good. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. You look so good. Today's our day. I know, it's nuts. It's Today's nuts. our You're... day. Oh. I love you. I love you. Let's kiss. You'll always be. Till my breath away, yeah. You'll always be my heart, my life. Every second, every day. As you continue on to the next stage of your life as a married couple, there's a few things that I want you to keep in mind. First, keep the party going. You have found magic in keeping life light and exciting while prioritizing your love for one another. Secondly, continue to bring out the best in one another. Keep that same genuine nature in your marriage and it will serve as a strong foundation for what's to come. Lastly, I will quote a living legend, there are no problems, only solutions. Connor, my handsome groom. When we met, I was a work in progress, still healing and growing. You came into my life and saw my struggles and embraced every part of me. You loved me with a patience and kindness that transformed my whole world. I let my guard down and I thank you for never making me put them back up. 
You are my favorite feeling and showed me what it means to be loved unconditionally. The past four years have brought me nothing but joy, laughter, adventure, and growth. What once seemed like a chance encounter now feels like a beautiful destiny. I love the silly dances we make up in the kitchen, the scenarios where we pretend we are meeting each other for the first time. With you, every moment is special. I promise to love you through all phases and be your peace from the world. And I promise to let you golf with your friends every once in a while, as long as you take me on a date night after. I love you so, so much. Let's please get married. <laughs> it's crazy to think that when you finally let me take you out four years ago, that was the beginning of our life together. From that moment, I met you. My life changed in the most beautiful ways. Gary, you are amazing. You are beautiful. You are smart. And you are everything to me. Thank you for being my partner, my best friend, and my one true love. Your laugh is my favorite sound in the world, and your smile is my favorite thing to see. You see beauty in this crazy world and in me, often when I can't see it in myself. You are understanding, even though you roll your eyes at me when I ask to play golf, or when I decide to stay late at work, or when I decide to call Vin for the hell of it, or, okay, I'll stop, I saw that eye roll. As we stand here today, I want you to know that I love you more than I can even explain in these vows. I promise to be dedicated to our future, to work together to achieve our goals, and to always prioritize our love and happiness. And I promise to remember that we are not perfect, only perfect for each other. You are my everything, Carrie. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Beautiful. You may kiss the bride. By the power in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. They probably should have come before, but that's okay. That's all right. Take it easy on me, like I said. And we're going to conclude this ceremony now. Kiss her again, actually. You may kiss the bride. Round two. When Connor first met Carrie, he wanted to impress her. Not only did he say he works for a professional hockey team, but he also, he's a hockey player. <laughs> Carrie pictured him on the ice, competing at a high level. It wasn't until later that she discovered the truth. Connor actually plays in a league for fat grown men skating on wheels. And to top it off, the name of the team is Daddy's Home. Carrie has given me one of the most genuine, loyal, respectful, supportive friendships. And I'm so lucky to witness her finding her partner for life who gives her all the same. Connor, thank you for loving her the way she deserves. And thank you for being everything she's ever wished for. Cheers to the beautiful couple and here's to forever. This too shall